Well, today, prosecutors in Maryland said they are dropping rape charges against two teenagers, illegal immigrants, in a case that the White House used to promote the president's deportation policy. Chip Reed has more on this. And it's horrendous and horrible and disgusting what this young woman in Rockville went through. That was White House spokesman Sean Spicer in March. He was commenting on a case at Rockville High School in Maryland, just outside Washington, in which two recent immigrants from Central America, age 17 and 18, were charged with raping a 14-year-old girl in a school bathroom. Part of the reason that the president has made illegal immigration and crackdown such a big deal is because of tragedies like this. The immigration pays its toll on our people if it's done, if it's not done legally. His remarks drew national attention to the case and contributed to a firestorm of anti-immigrant criticism. But the teenager's lawyers said the sex was consensual and was even planned in advance with the young girl. Today, state's attorney John McCarthy announced the charges were being dropped. We have concluded that the facts in this case do not support the original charges filed in this matter. Maria Mena is the lawyer for the 17-year-old. This case blew up because they immediately assumed they were immigrants, and as a result, they immediately assumed they were rapists. Deputy Press Secretary Sarah Sanders filling in today for Spicer was asked if White House rhetoric about immigration is encouraging people to jump to conclusions against immigrants. Not at all. Uh, the president has been uh, incredibly outspoken against crime in any form, fashion. Both teens are still in custody, Scott, and they could be facing lengthy deportation proceedings. Chip Reed for us tonight. Chip, thank you.